guys, what's up? So it's been a while since we've done a 2.0 discussion and I thought we'd pick things where we left them off with number 18 here, seeing as how we did number 17 last episode. All right, so number 18. Now, before I get into the specifics about what might be expected if she ever does get a 2.0 figure, I just wanted to bring up these pictures here. Now, these pictures are prototypes from years ago, of course, but just look at them and look at the current 2.0s. Is it a bad thing that the prototypes look more like the 2.0s? Part of the reason for this, I think, is the saturated colors and the severe lack of paint shading on these prototypes, as well as the 2.0s. However, I will say that the current 2.0 faces look much sharper in terms of features like the nose and eyes, and to me, I think these two here are good indications of what 2.0 figures might look like, hopefully with some improvements, of course. Alright, so number 18, let me just say that just like her twin brother, this figure's release was almost flawless. I mean, 17 and 18 were the first to come with a crap ton of accessories and hands to begin with, but in addition, she came with a part for another figure. Now I'll admit, when I first got this figure, I was a little bit disappointed. More so because it was a small figure to begin with, and I didn't have as big of some appreciation for these figures. And I just want to make a point here, I'm not being perverted or anything, but just look at this. I mean, having a little understanding of the line at first, you can see why I was disappointed, because I thought I was paying more and more money for essentially less and less of a figure. But, you know, back then, I didn't take the accessories and the number of hands she came with into account. And you know, honestly, since her release and her development in Dragon Ball Super as of lately, I've not only grown to appreciate AT more as a character, but I've grown to appreciate this figure more as well. That being said, there's still some room for improvement, so let's get into it. Now I think in terms of overall appearance, if they were to do an 18 2.0, while they have a few outfits to choose from, I highly doubt they would stray from the outfits she wears throughout the Cell Saga, as not only is this how most people remember her, but it's where the market lies for a character. No, not her super appearances. I mean, she does appear without the denim jacket throughout the rest of Z, but again, I think this is her most badass, tomboy looking look. But you know, honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to the pink tracksuit. 18 could definitely get it with this as well. Also, I think a 2.0 release of the androids would be the perfect time to release an imperfect cell, as he was on one of Tomashi's previous ballots from a few years ago. In terms of the colors and the paint apps with this initial release, I really like the product that we ended up with. Now, I think one thing the 2.0 treatment might add for these figures is a little bit more expression and accuracy with regard to the nose and mouth because of course, because just like her brother, you might blink and miss the fact that they actually do have a mouth and nose under the wrong lighting conditions. Now just to clarify what I mean by the 2.0 adding a little bit more expression and accuracy to the facial details, let's use my old friend Vegeta here. So we'll compare his 2.0 face to his other face on the PC Vegeta. Now hopefully you can see what I mean here. Something about this face and this head in particular, you know, while it does look like Vegeta, it, it doesn't scream, you know, the character popped right out of the anime and is on your shelf right now, whereas this one does so much more. Now with 18 in particular, she doesn't exactly have that same issue with, you know, the eyes not really popping, but there's something to that picture of the prototype there that just... I don't know, it just looks more like a 2.0. Now which one would be better as a finished product? Hard to say because, like I said, this isn't like the other 1.0 releases in terms of her facial details, yet there's something about it that's lacking compared to the 2.0s. And again, don't get it twisted, I am not saying that this is a bad face at all. I think one of the major things that they can improve on with this figure in the 2.0 sense is the hair. I mean, you know, you can't complain, it has, you know, sculpted lines and all that, and it's the right color, but maybe some shading? While the color the released figure actually has is anime accurate, I'm actually digging the realistic denim look with the shading seen here on this prototype. Alright, so not much to say about the articulation, no real complaints really, you know, she has a standard figure arts articulation, she's great. I guess the only place where she's really limited is by her skirt here, but fortunately, you know, the, the Tamashi went ahead and made this a pliable material. Um, so in the sense of her legs, you know, she can kick pretty far out to the side, she can kick pretty far back. The only restricted kicking motion for her is frontwards. But you know, I'll take that, because I said they could have easily gone the hard plastic route for this as they did with Whis and totally skewed up the figure's range of motion. 
And I, I do like the fact that every time, you know, you front kick or whatever, there's little wrinkles in this material of the skirt, which just looks so dope. It just adds another dimension of realism to the figure, and I think it's fantastic. Alright, so 18 came with a decent amount of faces, but really, the difference in them is very, very subtle. We got a happy face there, we got a stern face, if you can see the slight difference in the two mouths here. I mean, this one always kills me, man. It's like they had a board meeting for the figure's release, and someone at Tamashi was like, Ladies and gentlemen, I thought thoroughly, and I believe this is an iconic moment to be captured and expressed with our product, and I think it should be made. And hey, it did get made. I mean, points for originality, right? So I mean, the takeaway point here for the 2.0 is I think number 18 should come with a little bit more expressiveness in the faces. Perhaps something like a teeth gritten face or just the standard open mouth powering up face. I mean, all the other characters came with one, why not 18? Can you tell me she never opened her mouth in the entirety of the series? All right, so let's talk hands. This lady comes with pretty much every hand you could want her to be posed with, including an additional one for Krillin. And I don't have any complaints here other than the fact that my hands have a real hard time getting her other hands to fit into the pegs after I want to change the figure's poses. So they did a whole bunch of things right with this figure, and the first, obviously, is the inclusion of such a wide range of hands, as well as the stylized, action-y hair that her brother included as well. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, is the inclusion of the accessories for Krillin. I mean, that's definitely some thinking outside the box there, and I really hope to see it again with future releases. I mean, the overall look and feel of this figure is just so great. It captures the likeness of the character so well, and like I said, there's so many things they did right with this figure that it's just so hard to be nitpicky and, you know, find something wrong with it. <laughs> For why'd you do it, it's pretty straightforward. I want to know, why was 18 the first figure you decided to include parts for another release on? So, number 18, were you lucky to grab her the first time around or did you miss out? Really, she was a fantastic release and I really do hope we get to see an updated version of her in the future. Are we likely to see it soon? I don't think so. So if you do have these androids, hold on to them because I think it'll be a while before we get an update. Ultimately, androids don't seem to age and fortunately neither do their counterparts in Figuarts. Thanks for watching guys. I hope the best of you today are the worst of tomorrow. Peace.